Up, break out the popcorn, because Cary Grant and Tori catch a movie. Now, so we're doing another movie myth? Which one is it? The cult classic, Deep Blue Sea. Yes, genetically altered man-eating sharks. Tell me we're testing the scene when they blow the shark up. We're testing the scene where they blow the shark up. Yes. But there's a twist. They don't have any weapons on hand, so they MacGyver it. Check this out. Yep, in this scene from the silver screen, the survivors of some mutant shark mayhem are desperate to finish the fish. So they turn to a harpoon gun, flares, and an electric charge. We ought to get about two and a half sticks of dynamite out of these flares. The question is, could this MacGyver-style combo really equal a big boom? From up here, you ought to be able to see me spearing. When I do, you take this end of this cable, hook it up to the positive side of the boat battery, and boom. So they have two and a half sticks of dynamite's worth of black powder from the flares, and it looks like he's gonna make a pipe bomb from the cylinder attached to the harpoon. But how are they gonna ignite the black powder? It looks like he's gonna just attach that metal cable to a battery, and that's supposed to set it off. No way. No <laughs> way, because that's exactly what happens <laughs> after upping the jeopardy by pinning his friend to the shark. Now what's he gonna do? I mean, if he kills the shark, he could potentially kill his friend. But if he doesn't kill the shark, the shark can get away. Now he's in a dilemma. Kill the shark, kill the friend, let the shark get away. What's he gonna do? He opts for the heroic sacrifice, of course. But our harpoon-toting hero hesitates, perhaps fatally because the genetically enhanced super shark makes for the hole in the fence he'd prepared earlier. Oh, wait, the hero's free. There's a spark. And boom. Oh. Wait a minute, two and a half sticks of dynamite? A tower of water, blood, and fire. Awesome. That is a pretty crazy scene, and there's a lot of elements to test. Okay, let's break it down. First of all, we need to find out if you can ignite black powder with a car battery like they did in the movie. And we need to see if an improvised harpoon gun like that can go that distance and still be accurate. And then we need to find out more about these flares. I mean, do they even contain black powder? And if so, do they have enough to make the mythical two and a half sticks of dynamite? And can that amount of black powder make the massive explosion that we saw? And the guy survived. Well, we definitely need to test that. Okay, that's five things to test for one scene. That's gotta be a record. It's the Deep Blue Sea Quintet of Myths with five separate testable elements. It's something to get your teeth into. But hold the phone, because Tori's starting this myth by making a mark of a shark. I start off with a big block of foam. I put an outline on the profile and then a top view, mark that out with spray paint, cut that out with hot wires. From there, I went and took the foam cutting machine and shaped it down to more shark-like. Nicknamed Hugo because he's a uh, huge O, he's a little cuddlier than his movie counterpart. And talking of the movie. Now, while Tori finishes up Hugo, Grant and I are gonna start testing the first part of this myth, which is the ignition system. Can you ignite black powder with a battery and a wire? We're gonna start with a proof of concept. And to explain the concept and method for proving it, here's our resident electrical engineer. Okay, so this is a setup for our proof of concept. Now, people would normally think that it's the spark from the battery that ignites a black powder, but in their setup, it's actually more likely to be the heat. So, what I'm gonna do is hook up this battery to a pair of jumper cables. There's a thin wire between the two, and the heat should build up as a current flows through that conductor, and that should ignite the black powder. Sounds simple enough. You just touch the positive, and that should ignite, right? That's right. Everybody ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Yep, as expected, the heat emitted by the current being forced through the wire is enough to ignite the black powder. That's proof of concept. Yeah, for this part. But now what we gotta do is set it up like they had it in the movie. Well, as we expected, we generated enough heat to ignite the black powder. But the question is, will the setup in the movie do the same? That's the burning question. And some jump cuts later, they're all set to put the movie scene to the test. Okay, so here's the setup. We have a tank filled with salt water. Inside of the tank is an airtight metal canister. Inside of that is black powder. Now that's connected, just like in the movie, through a steel cable. Steel cable leads back to a 12 volt marine battery. Then the other half of the circuit by a jumper cable leads all the way back to the tank and hopefully completing the circuit and ba-boom. 